So with regards to an, an IED um, or an IED type event, these are explosions and uh, you'll commonly hear them referred to as blast injuries because there's a large explosion, so there's a large blast. Um, quite often these IEDs are set along uh, travel routes for convoys, etc. So uh, a group soldier or a group of soldiers could be within feet of the blast. They could be, well actually it would be meters, so they could be within meters uh, or they could be 50 meters or 100 meters away. And clearly the distance, the target so to speak, in other words how close they are is going to have a big impact uh, uh, in terms of whether or not they experience an injury. Um, and these injuries actually uh, can be extremely, extremely severe uh, to the body. But what we've learned is that um, the brain appears to be, again, quite sensitive to these blast events. So there's this large explosion and it causes a, what they call a shock wave, a blast wave, a wave of energy that um, appears to be damaging to, uh, well, it, it certainly is damaging to porous tissues like the lungs and the liver. We've known that for years. But I guess because the brain is encased in this skull, we kind of thought maybe it was protected, but it doesn't quite look like that's the case. And then our enemies are really quite sophisticated and um, quite intelligent. And what they will do is they will load up these devices with um, nails, with ball bearings, metal spheres, with fragments of concrete, whatever. So you also have the, the possibility of actually being hit, uh, your body, your head, and have a penetrating injury, something penetrate through the skull. Um, and then there's the other type of blast injury where, let's say for example, you're in a Humvee, the ID goes off. It maybe causes the Humvee to roll or it impacts the vehicle to the extent that now it's like being in a car accident and you wind up slamming your head against the windshield, against the pavement. Uh, yes, you're wearing a helmet, but still the impacts can be incredibly severe. So now you're suffering from a concussion type event that wouldn't differ uh, relative to what anyone in the civilian community would experience, with the exception that, of course, there's still this blast wave, there's still this pressure wave to deal with.